I thought that I was dreaming. All right, it is Friday. Always a good day. If you don't follow college football, you wouldn't know that the Cougars dominated UConn last night, 42 to 14, I think, something like that. The game was really good, even though we sat way up at the top where we are so used to sitting in the student section. It was still fun. It was like, you know, different experience, different view of the field, whatever. So it was pretty cool. And then, mm, then nothing happened. I went home. Now I am at school yet again. I don't go to work today. I am in class all day today. I am kind of okay with it just because it's a, a, a more chill day. Just because I'm in class all day, I don't have to worry about work work. I guess that's cool. I'm literally here like all day. I have a three hour class in, I guess, 30 minutes. Um, and then I have a two hour class uh, at one o'clock. So basically it's the same class. One is just a lecture and one is just a lab. So decided to take my glasses off because I feel like I'm always wearing my glasses, but I don't really need to. I think I just got used to wearing them. So I feel like I always have to put them on, but I see a slight bit better without them, I mean with them, but if I don't wear them, I'll be fine. I mostly need them at night when I drive, just because the glare and everything, that's my issue. So that's what these help me with, but I just end up wearing them like 24 seven. So I also don't know if I mentioned, but I am traveling next week. Me and Ariel are gonna go visit our sister, D. I don't know if she's ever been on one of my vlogs. I don't think she has which is very weird. So that'll change in a week. Uh, we are very excited. This is actually the very first trip that I booked as an adult. The flight, I always travel before, like I traveled a lot, but usually it was always my parents booking the flights. More recently, when me and my boyfriend went to LA, he randomly booked the flights and just like shot me the email that night before I was already asleep. So I woke up to see like, plane ticket flights in my email which was pretty cool so he booked that flight and since I do live in the States it's easier to just drive to places so a lot of places I've been traveling are like Austin San Antonio New Orleans stuff like that and I could drive there instead of taking a flight so this is my first I guess this is my first uh, I guess adult vacation I don't know I feel I've been on vacation before like I've had vacation but as far as like traveling this is the first time that I booked a flight as an ad like by myself so I feel like that's long overdue but better late than ever I guess very excited about that I booked on spirit and I booked that just because I don't want to spend a bunch of money on a flight I don't really care about a comfortable seat blah 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 it's a two-hour flight I could deal I just don't hope I hope like nothing stupid happened like the flight get canceled or hella delayed by eight hours or some shit like that but you know i'm not trying to speak these things into existence i'm just trying to like put it out there that i don't want it to happen <laughs> yeah i'm in a pretty good mood this morning um i think i might get my hair braided or braided myself this weekend i don't know just because it's growing so much now and i don't really know like what to do with it exactly this is today would be december january february march april may june july august september this is nine months of growth exactly i cut my hair on my birthday last year so this is nine months of growth didn't have like i didn't get it cut all off i just cut off my relaxed ends so I I am natural whatever but I didn't cut my hair to go natural if that makes sense I cut my hair just because it was really dead I wanted to you know start over I didn't go cut my hair to like go natural or to wear a fro or you know to be all you know super black but I cut it just because I wanted something different I had never cut my hair in my life before like this is the first time I've ever cut my hair for real, for real, like inches. Every time before that it was maybe like bangs or just like a trim. That was the first time I've ever cut my hair. So 25 years old, I celebrated my birthday in a, in a hair salon, like chopping my hair off. So I guess that was cool. I think I have a video about that. Pretty sure I do. Yeah, this is nine months. I have to say that I am in love with my hair. I was not in love with my hair before, like when I was relaxed and straight. 
I didn't ever know what to do with it. I didn't really care to do anything with it. It was always just like up in a bun. And because I always put it up in a bun, I pushed all my hair at the back up to the top of my head. So I think that's part of the reason why it broke so much. In the back, it was super, super, super short. So this is why in the back of my hair right now is like super short, just because I always had more hair on the top, but the back was always super short because it was breaking. So when I cut it, obviously it's short at the back. So it's shorter now. I am in love with my hair. I love my curls. I love how it feels. I like being able to like test out new products. So that's all that's also been like a funnish experience and I say funnish because natural hair products are so friggin' expensive. Like being natural is a friggin' investment, okay? If you go natural, just know you're gonna spend some money on some hair products if you really want to figure out what works for you and what works well and like quality products. So that's what I found. I think I'm gonna do a video like maybe like a year in because right now I think like the first year is the most experimental year and the most year that you learn a lot of the things about you know natural hair and your hair exactly but I might do a video on that but for now I'll just say that the things that I learn you know you have to invest your money you have to use quality stuff what else you need a spray bottle you definitely need a spray bottle and you need edge control and um yeah i think that's basically it, like the main things i guess a toothbrush for your edges but i don't really do that i don't really lay my edges that often if i braid my hair then i would but if it's just like this then i just let them do what they want to do um i definitely need to get my eyebrows done before i leave for my trip because these are just not these are not cute man but anyway Day 13. I really don't want to go to class today, but uh, gotta do what I gotta do. I have one class left after the semester. One class, and that's my senior thesis class. And I'll be done. Be graduated finally. Freaking finally, I will have a degree. <sighs> so that is just freaking amazing. Like, I never honestly thought that this day would come. To be honest, I honestly thought that. I would not finish school like I definitely had it in my mind that you know I just gonna be here forever you know some shit's gonna happen again to make set me back another year like I'm just never leaving U of H and that that was something that I genuinely thought that was something that I fed my spirit like and yeah it was a terrible thing but you know you just don't stop no matter how you feel don't friggin stop because the incredible feeling that you're going to have when you realize that you are almost there is just it is indescribable i'm pretty sure whoever's watching this you felt something like that before but i definitely did not think that i was going to finish college i wanted a degree so bad so that's just why i kept going no matter how slow i thought i was going even though i was going slow i was still going so yeah definitely don't stop and I didn't stop and now I'm one class away from graduating so that's pretty cool um, and despite me saying oh I'm never going back to school when I'm done with this degree I'm done with school for life blah 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 I really want to continue my education um, maybe get a master's and focus in on something related to my bachelor's prospect probably that's what I'm going to do maybe move to somewhere and get it um, somewhere a different city I think that would be cool but yeah this has been a very random pep talk kind of advice kind of tips hair tips I don't know but I'm just in a talkative mood recently but yeah it's Friday who knows what, what I'm gonna get into this weekend I'm most likely gonna vlog just because I'm also in a vlogging mood so take y'all along with me so three hours later yes three hours later I'm done with class well I'm done with my lab class I think I'm gonna go get Panda Express for lunch just because I feel like teasing my daddy so I'm gonna go get Panda Express lab was actually really good today it wasn't boring and it, was, it didn't feel long so it's always a good thing to have on a Friday so I gotta be back at one so I have quite a bit of time it's like an hour and a half I get time to eat and chill so off to Panda Express 
around your city, round the clock Everybody needs you No, you can't make everybody equal Although you got buku family You don't even got nobody being honest with you Breathe till I evaporated pretty day outside today so I'm eating outside I think the weather is so incredibly perfect how can you not eat outside I mean so got my food <clears throat> yes got orange chicken teriyaki chicken mm -mm 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 -mm. everybody eats daddy everybody eats so I sent my daddy a picture of Panda Express <laughs> and this is what he said. <laughs> So before I got to class, I'm driving on the service road. If you don't know what a service road is, that's that little section of road that drives along the freeway. So speed limit on the service road is 50. Going 50 miles per hour. That's kind of sort of fast, but not really. And this truck pulls out of a Costco um, corner and he swerves into my friggin lane and hits my friggin car and I don't really know I was going 50 miles per hour if I didn't see him and if I kept going at the speed I was going he would have hit the side of my 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 passenger door but instead when I slammed my brakes he ended up scraping and hitting the front side of my car so that happened I got out well first of all he hit me didn't look like he was gonna stop either like he hit me I'm like hitting the sidewalk then he goes off and I'm like trying to get back on the street and I look and I'm like wait is he not going to stop right now so I turn my blinkers on but I start to follow him I'm like oh hell no hell no what the hell are you doing so I put my blinkers on and you know I start to like slowly drive up behind him and then I see him put his blinkers on so I'm like okay I don't have to run after his ass because I sure as hell was going to so he gets out and he comes over and he's like okay you're all right I'm like yes are you okay so he's like yeah blah 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 it was this old white man so he's like really old um and then he was like well I don't really see any damage on my truck I don't know how we ended up hitting each other so I was like what we did not hit each other you hit me I said that I was like oh we didn't hit each other you hit me like I'm I'm going I have the right of way I have the right of way like you coming out of a store parking lot you don't have a right of way and then even if you did get out like you swung into my lane like 
we didn't hit each other you hit me so I got all this information or whatever and he seemed like he was hard of hearing or something but I wasn't buying anything like you know this old white man he'll think oh I could pretend to be senile or you know whatever wasn't having it so I got all this in, uh, insurance information um, took a picture of my damage um, the damage isn't terrible and I'm probably just you know I'll get it fixed later I'll still file a claim or whatever I don't even know what to freaking do I just knew the minute I got on my car I took them I picked, took a picture of my damages and then he tried to like you know basically try to shove it off like okay we're both okay damage not that bad let's just go I'm like no let me get a picture of your insurance so I took a picture of his insurance and I don't know I guess I'll call his company or I'll call my company I don't know I'll research and I'll ask obviously but that happened I'm not injured um, it's just I don't know what's up with this car this week two hits in one week like after going I've been driving this car for maybe I want to say almost two years sounds about right maybe two almost two years so to have been driving that long and like not have anything happen to two things happening to it in one single week that's just weird to me I'm okay the damage isn't terrible now I just have two dents on both sides like what the fuck? paint is scratched over there so it just looks ugly but whatever it's Friday it's the weekend and I'm trying to make it a good one drive safe kids I am eating my leftover Panda Express look at them this is how you know you in a house that people where people lose drink I come over here to sit in the couch look what I find what <laughs> I'm eating my leftover Panda Express just because I'm feeling a bit peckish and I just got off the phone with the insurance company of the person who hit me and apparently they have to call them so they can make a statement saying you know the story that I gave them is true hopefully they aren't like douches and lie but I guess I'll see what happens here uh, my boyfriend told me that I have to call my insurance company just to notify them of what happened but I did that and they were just like okay thanks for letting us know keep us up to date with the claim on the um party at fault blah 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 i guess i kind of took care of that the people who the insurance company of the other person gave me a list of uh shops that i could take my car to to see just how bad the damage is what'll need to be fixed and they'll give them a cost or whatever. Maybe I'll do that this weekend. I don't know. I guess it's just taking care of. Car is still drivable. Um. So we'll see how that goes. Say hi to the vlog. Say hi, hey, hey, girl. Look at that poof. Eating my food. You know, I had this idea in my head all the way home. That when I got here, I would go in the bathroom and wash my hands and wash my face. What happened? I got distracted. <laughs> distracted by Panda Express. Me and Alton are moving to Hawaii. I really want to move to Panda Oh, we all need too. we all need to go to Hawaii then. We're gonna move to Hawaii. Hey, y'all ready to move to Hawaii? Just because there's too much shit going on on the mainland, you know? <laughs> gonna move to Hawaii. So you come in? Maybe, but I'm gonna wonder. I think that would be so cool if we all just like moved to Hawaii. <laughs> like, that'd be a new experience for all of us and we get to experience it together. That'd be good. So you need to come to Hawaii. I'm gonna live on the island of Honolulu. You're gonna live on Honolulu? I think Honolulu is like the city-ish part of Hawaii. 
Do you remember I always used to play the game when I was younger? I was like, let's play Honolulu. Do you remember that? No, I don't. What? Tell us more about this game. I don't remember it. I just always remember saying that I wanted to play Honolulu. Play Honolulu? And the auntie would just go along with it. Like, y'all was on vacation? I don't know. I honestly don't remember how we used to play it. I think we used to do like the hula. I feel like that's so. I don't want to use the word racist. <laughs> Good times. Shut the fuck up, I don't want your conversation